Okay, okay top everybody. Gonna keep on charging on. Um, well done for waking up this morning. Not a not a, not a small uh, not a small achievement to get up and going. So it's good that we've got this to keep us uh, keep us on track. So we're doing Tehillim 132. This one is uh, that makes it the 13th of the Shira Malot. So we've got this and then two more, and then we finished um, all 15. Um, let's go to the top. Yes, yeah, so this is a longer one. Yes, I've got away with the shorter one. This one, the the theme of it is. Um, is uh i think very powerful i mean they're all very powerful but uh but i think each day there's there's something that that, that falls out to us the theme of this uh tlm is really about um david amelech's search for for the home for for Baruch Hu, that uh that, that he goes you know he goes through all his different trials and travails but he doesn't have the um he doesn't have the schut to build the beta migdash he knows that his son is going to build the beta migdash his son Shlomo, but he wants to you know just at least like put in front of hashem what it's uh what, what it's meant um you're putting in front of a Baruch Hu, like like all his toil and his efforts and everything that it shouldn't be in vain and, and that that should also continue to be a scut for bringing a home uh, for hashem in this world um and i think the the theme of that is like something so so powerful i think when we when, when we like uh, for me when i looked at it this morning it was like a reminder to say this is this isn't just the war of the jews in israel being attacked by you know the nations of the world and and it's just like oh we're a country like any other country uh but no like also the, the reason why we're all here very much i think we we all full of it's shira volim today um the reason why we're all here is because israel is not just another country it's not just a country for the jews like like the french have the have france and the english have england um it's because uh, we believe there's a higher purpose yeah and hashem dedicated to this land for us that Hashem wants a place to have have his um, you know have his values be manifest in a, in a in a very strong and intentional way and that's the purpose of uh, that's the purpose of Amishal being in Eretz Israel and that's not something that um, you know, I think it's something that when you when you're looking at human beings debating uh, I don't know for, for my sins uh, I watched um, I watched this uh, uh, this Piers Morgan, um, you know. So first he brought on, uh, he brought on uh, like a pro-Palestinian guy who, who ate him for breakfast. He was a much, much better debater and much more aggressive and and ate him for breakfast. And and now he's loving, uh, leveraging the whole Palestinian uh, story um, and this whole conflict for you know to, to get more to get more views as he does. Uh, but he's also, I think he, he's through his process of bringing lots of different people on with different perspectives, it's become clear to him how abhorrent it is when people can't, you know, people pro-Palestinian can't, uh, can't acknowledge um, the, the absolute immorality and terror of, 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 the, of the initial massacre. Um, so that's one thing that's been good to see come through. But then you see like different people sitting in his studio and having these debates. And, and then you think, oh, it's just between nations and it's a fight between the Palestinians and the Israelis and it's, it's, a, it's a regular piece of land. And, you know, it's just nations fighting with nations. But it's not. This Tehillim comes to remind us, especially in the midst of this conflict, that uh, we, we, it's not just us. It's not just, uh, it's, it's not just Jews who, who need a Jewish homeland that could have been in Uganda, but it happens to be in Israel. Um, but it's uh, something much more special. It's, it's the home. It's the home for Hashem. It's where Hashem wants to live, and that's what David Amelech is coming to in the Tehillim to express. Um, so let's let's go through it line by line. So he says, um, "I'm making the drop smaller. I hope that's okay." He says, "Shira ma'alot zechor Adonai leDavid et kol unoto." So so David Amelech is saying in this as he's going up, he's not saying, um, and I think I think you can say relative to what we saw before. In our progression of the Shira Ma'alot, um, before there was it was a much more personal um, reflection. So it was, a, it was a personal reflection on how Hashem gives bracha to my home, to my city, to my uh, you know to, to my progeny. Um, then Kuf Lamed, we saw this very personal um, reflection on the fallibility of man and his sins, and and how Hashem judges us in lieu of our own sins, and how He puts them to the side to to save us. Um, and then, um, and then yesterday we saw, you know, we saw that similar thing about now, okay, moving from heart eyes, taking steps in the world and, and bringing that into, into, uh, um, into fruition and bringing Hashem's vision in, but it's more through like the prism of the individual. What, what it ended off with was the Yachel Yisrael, 
um, where, where he says, David uh, Amelech ends off at the end of Kuf Lamed Aleph, he says, Yachel Yisrael Adonai, Adolam. So from having his um, his own personal reflection, um, he now, he then turns it in the last Pasuk, this, you know, this very short Tilim over here that we saw yesterday, he turns it from saying, okay, like I've I've got I've got my faith in check. I've acknowledged that uh, I'm, I'm I've worked on my humility, and now I'm turning to Israel and saying, Israel, um, you should also turn and, and have your hope in Hashem, Matavi Adolam, now and forever. And then if we if we now move into back into our tilim, it's like a fully focused um, tilim on on Hashem being the focal point, right? On Hashem making his home in Zion in Eretz Israel. And that's what we uh, that's what we're focusing on here. So Shira Malot Zacharad Nada David et Kol Unoto David Amelech is saying, um, take you know everything that I've been through. Look at all my afflictions that I've done for your sake. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to be the one to give you your to give you your home. Um, but 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 please, everything that I've been through and that I've that I've done for the Jewish nation should serve as a merit um, for for the Makom Beit Hamikdash. Uh, there are ducks quite nice over here, so I'm uh, going to try go go through certain pieces here as we go through it. This is Amar David Ziam is more b'shash b'nam is be'ach b'goren aronayiv usi al pi gad hanavi. So according to the Navi God, David Amelech builds uh, builds this is be'ach. Right, the Elia love a lot of shlamim and he puts his sacrifices up there. The Karal Hashem, we know by Ishmi Neshamim and Hashem um, answers him with with uh, fire from the heavens. Amar zeu beit Hashem elokim v'zeh mizbech leolal Yisrael. And uh, this is like you know it's a forerunner of of the ultimate house of Hashem. But this mizbech that he builds over there is um, it, this is where he's saying it's v'adot yom lo no dama kombe damigdash until this day. It was not known what the Makom Beit Hamikdash was. And at this point, David Amelech knew that Natan Anavi had said to him, "He's not going to build the Beit Hamikdash. His son Shlomo will be." She Sam David Kochov Yechotol Achin Binyan Abayit. But because David put all this work into setting the foundations and and um, putting everything in motion to build the Beit Hamikdash, Veneinah uh, BeMakom Anivchar Bikesh Mashem. So um, so so because of that, he's he's now turning to to Hashem. To uh, to get something you know in in that same uh, vein and momentum of the binyan ben amigdash, even though he's not going to get the ultimate view of of setting up the home for Hashem in this world. Since I did not merit to build it, please Hashem consider my thoughts and my intentions as if they were um, actions. Was holy mashe aniti atzmi ba'avuro and think about how did I afflict myself for the sake of your ben amigdash. He said, I, I stole sleep from my eyes um, because of all the thoughts that I had for it. And I, and I made um, oaths and, I, and, and commitments and promises that I will not rest until the Beit HaMidash is built, until Hashem, you have this fully manifest home in this world. And even in my own house, right, which is like we've seen in the, in the previous but um, the previous Mizmorim, that even in my own house that, that was reflected then, I could not find like a, a piece. Um, like he was, he was always, he was never settled until he could build the house for for Hashem, until he could build the Beit Hamikdash, and uh, and therefore he's saying like, when you see me being afflicted, I haven't. David Amelech is saying, I can't be at rest until I find that I've established your resting place in this world, Hashem. And um, um, I think, uh, <laughs> thank God, I've been able to. Uh, to, to sleep okay during during these during these times, some better than others. But last night was terrible. Um, so this this telem came right on time to say, Hashem, all the sleepless nights that we we're having. Right, people I saw on Facebook posts. You know, what were you doing at three o'clock in the morning? What what do you do when you wake up in the morning? What are you thinking? Some people are saying, wake up in the morning and then suddenly you're like gotta catch your breath that we're still in this nightmare and and you see different attacks coming from different places and. Uh, very sad this uh, this morning I saw another uh, he's a Bulgarian Vishivat Yerucham uh, the, the tank overturned in the north and um, and, uh, and and he was he was unfortunately killed this like beautiful uh, beautiful young father um, let's, let's say his name it's, uh, this should be an Aliyah for his Neshama one second um, and his uh, I think his father learned in the Gush um, so I learned to heard about it from there uh, his brother was at school with uh, Al. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Yeah. Was Teddy Michael, okay. Sheila's brother. Um, let me just see where this message came through here. Um, oh, someone else is. Uh, Oh, got someone else to come in. There's Lorenz. Okay, so I mean, I just got this from the Gush as well. So this is a Baruch uh, Dayan Emet for Yinon Fleischman. That's a, that's, what's his parents' name? Yinon Fleischman Zichrono uh, Libracha. Uh, yeah, his brother Daniel Fleischman, I think, was from the Gush. I can't find the parents' names right now. Uh, let's see here. No. And then I just got another message that came through right now for someone who needs lots of tefillot. Another Bogar of the Gush, Arab Naran Eshkar, Nifsaka Shebatafu Hatta Tank Shilop Safon, obviously in the same tank. Munitab um, Akleketipul in Aria. So, so we're going to be davening for Naran Chaim ben Rachel Perla, the Tok Shach for Israel. And uh, okay, sure. Okay, so we got to take that in, and and I think in this mizmor we try to take all these, you know, I think what we're doing in Asher, take all these like boundless, impossible emotions, and give it some little fine art expression and space to be. Um, so we so we we davening for them and and we and I think these sleepless nights. So David Amelech is saying he's saying he's saying I had all these sleepless nights. Um, it's called uh, Unoto, and and I think we see it even uh, later if you look in in Pasuk Dalad over there. He's saying I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids. So so we should say to our Kodesh Baruch Hu, every every moment of sleep that's not peaceful. Uh, every uh, every time we wake up and we feel that uh, you know that difficult space, um, that 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 should be for a schut for um, for whatever we need, um, and it should ride on the on the vehicle of these tilim that David Amelech took his sleeplessness and he took his um, uh, you know, not being able to be settled. And he said to Hashem, please, show me a little bit. Zachor Hashem David, call unat unoto. That's what he's saying. He's saying, Hashem, please remember all these things, all these sleepless nights, all these difficulties that we went through, all the affliction, um, and uh, and use that as as part of the building blocks to build the Bet Hamikdash. Um, so unfortunately, we can we can we can relate to this way too much, um, and and therefore Hashem should see it and should be a schut. For a fresh lima for these people, for Ali Aliyat Nishmatam, and also for um, for for guarding our soldiers. Um, someone asked me just to mention a name to find it in a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up and we do the tefillot properly. Okay, just give me a. Okay, so let's finish off the tilim. Um, so from the top, Shiram Alatu Chara Adonai David, the Kol Unuto. So that's the that's the headline of the tilim. There we're asking Hashem, um, Hashem David says, Hashem, please remember everything I've struggled with as a towards the binyan of, of his home, that it should help. Hashem Nishbal Adonai Nadar Lavir Yaakov. I'm just going to put everybody on mute because there's like a bit of uh, funny noise coming through. Do it. Okay. Um, okay. Then we got to Nadar la Yaakov. So the, the second thing is you now he invokes Yaakov. Um, so how David Amelech he, he swears towards Hashem and he and he um, makes an oath towards Hashem and he vows to the mighty one Avir Yaakov and he invokes Yaakov. So why does he invoke Yaakov? Um, he invokes Yaakov because Yaakov. For, for two reasons. One, Yaakov is a dreamer, right? So I think there's like a link between Yaakov's dreams and, and, and his having this like restless night of sleep. Um, but also, where does he have that restless night of sleep? He's the first one who sees the Makom HaMikdash. Um, there is, you know, we do say that Abraham did the Akedah for Yitzchak over there, and the Radak addressed that. But he said he doesn't know, it's not clear that the fact that Abraham did the Akedah there, that, that he was aware, that he had the awareness when he did the Akedah, that this was going to be the place of the Ben Amikdash. Whereas Yaakov, in his dream, um, he, he's, he sees the ladder and he's aware of this being the Beit Hashem, that this is going to be the ultimate house of Hashem. Um, so that's why um, he invokes Yaakov over here. 
And then another reason which is interesting here is that is that he's make he's making like this oath, and the first person to make an oath was Yaakov. Yaakov makes this oath when he's running away from Asav. So he's like the, the the maker of oaths. He's the one who first gets a glimpse of this place being the Makom Amikdash, um, and uh, and therefore that's why David Amelech Dafka. Um, invokes Yaakov and not uh, not Abraham and Yitzhak. Um, Surely I'm not coming to the tent of the house or go up into the bed that it's spread for me. So he understands that he's not going to be Zoche to um, to go into this place um, because Nathan has told him. Um, okay, so he says so that's just his expression of saying he's not going to he's not going to be able to build it. Um, we spoke about this already, this lack of slumber. Okay, let's skip through that. Um, okay. So I'm not going to be able to sleep properly until I found this place for Hashem, Mishkanot Laavir Yaakov, the dwelling place for the mighty one, uh, Yaakov. Yaakov is also mentioned often because he's like the culmination of Avram and Yitzhak. So there's that other aspect of him being like the, the, the power. Um, then we start talking about Hineshma Unube Ephrata. There's this reference to Ephrat. Why Ephrat? Um, because apparently David Amelech is from Ephrat. Um, right? So he says, approach Rabbi Moshe ben Gitana, Shema Unu al Yudei David, Shayama Ephrata. So David Amelech is like saying, from my home to your home, like there's a, like he knows what, what, what having a home means, and therefore he's expressing and using that same aspect to, um, to David for Hashem's home and for his efforts to be there to, to bring a home to Hashem. Um, and uh, just for everybody who came in a, a few minutes after we began, like the, the the power of this is is us having this realization that we should we that we have our worries about you know this feels sometimes existential in terms of Israel, um, and you start seeing all these other nations popping up, you know even now Yemen and uh, all these and Syria and Lebanon and everybody starting with their with their shtuyot. Um but we should remind ourselves that we're in this in this house not just as Jews is in a Jewish land, not just Israelis in Israel, but it's Hashem's home, and that's the whole focal point of this uh, of, of this call from David Amelech, where he's talking about how much how much um, he's unsettled until Hashem is settled. So that's what we dive in for. We dive in for Hashem's home as well, um, and that, and that will warrant us a lot more protection. It's a lot it's a lot bigger than just us in this generation in this in this time. Um, we just one chain is part of that, um, and now there's like this excitement of. David Amela having this, you know, this vision of this home that he's contributed to building for Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Now, voila, the Mishkan Otav, Mishdachavela Adom Raglav. Let us go into his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. So now we're talking about Hashem's legs. We've looked at the different limbs in, in the different Tzilim. Now it's like Hashem's legs being firmly planted in um, in the world and in Yerushalayim and in in Eretz Israel. Um, that's that's his footstool. Um, arise, Hashem, to your resting place. Atav You are in the ark of your strength, um, and we start seeing like the the, the religious entourage um, about what it means for Hashem to have His house over here. Um, uh, all these uh, all these psukim that we're seeing here, the Radak says, So 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 these aspects. Aspects of David's yearning for the the building of the Beit Hamikdash and for Hashem having a home um, in these three psukim now become a central part of Shlomo Amelech's Chanukat Beit Hamikdash. So, so we see, um, so, so we see that David Amelech's aspirations, his wishes for his aspirations to be meaningful, are then trans, trans, uh, you know, translated into um, Shlomo's words when he. Uh, when, when, when he actually does the Chanukat Ben Amikdash. And uh, we, we say it when we put away the, the Torah, um, right? when, when it would rest, we would say, and we would sing Eitz Chaim here. That's all part of that. So so we've got this like beautiful movement of David HaMelech is yearning to be able to see the Ben Amikdash being built, to see Hashem having his home. Um, Shlomo HaMelech now actually does it in the Chanukat Habayit. And then there's the reliving of that every single time we put the Torah back um, and and think about us, Olim, who've, who've moved, who've, who've left our you know uh, native lives um, from overseas to then 
be in shuls in Eretz Israel, um, and uh, you know, firmly grounded in Eretz Israel, saying those same words that were just aspirations for David that became the proclamations in reality of uh, of Shlomo Melech. And we mouth those words when when we put the the Torah back into the Ark every um, every Shabbat. Um, we shouldn't take it for granted. It's very powerful. Hashem swore to David in truth, you will not turn back from it. Of the fruit of your body, I will sit upon your throne. I'm going to fly through the rest. And Hashem, he, he, um, he consoles David and says, yes, all your efforts to get us to this point, even though it's not the end point of the Beit HaMikdash, they all count. And you'll see that within the fruit of your body, right? Which is Shlomo HaMelech. Um, and uh, um, and and their children, their children's children. So we spoke about like Ureva Nim Levanecha Shalom Al Yisrael. That was still felt very individual, home based. And now we're talking about Bnei Yisrael and David Amelech's children, which uh, which is much more epic and uh, um, and senior and uh, an elite in a sense. Kibachar Adonai B'Tzion Ivalu Moshev Lo. And this is important for us to remember through these times. For Hashem has chosen Zion. He has decided for his habitation. Right? It's not only about us. Um, and our worries shouldn't be you know, these small worries. But rather they should be tremendous, powerful, visionary tefillot. Of saying, like, everything we're doing here, it's because it's Hashem's home. Not just, not just, it's not just a refuge for the Jewish people. It's a place where Hashem sets his home. And we live out our purpose of bringing Hashem's values into the world. Zot menuchati ad. This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. It's not just a whole bunch of Jews who want to come here and people can say, oh, you're an occupier, you're this, that. That's not relevant. It's not, it's not true and it's not relevant. Um, this, is what, this is where Hashem chose to dwell, and therefore he put his people in here in order to, be, to make that manifest. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will give her needy bread in plenty. Her priest also will close with salvation, and her pious shall shout aloud for joy. So from Hashem saying, this is my home, I'm going to make it my home. Now all the people that live in his home are going to look beautiful and get what they need. They're going to get their food. The, the, the priests, his um, closest representatives are going to be beautifully clothed. Um, and the, the Hasidim are going to be able to sing out of joy. They will make a horn to shoot up to David. The sound will be heard from beyond. Right? From beyond what you can see, the sound will travel faster and, and, and greater. There I've ordered a lamp for my anointed, and this, this light will come forth. Compared to um, what we'll see with, with this, you know, this full realization of, of a Kurdish Baruch Hu making his home, the enemies are clothed with shame, right? So their outer garments will be those of shame, but upon himself his crown shall shine. But uh, but but for but for for us and for the descendants of David Amelech, um, the crown shall shine. So I think that's nice and and uh, a good realignment of of what it is that we're diving for, the reason that we're here. Um, and um, we shouldn't lose sight of that, and, and that should be an important fuel for, for our tefillot. Um, it's not only about us. When it feels like it's only about us, it's like humans versus humans, but we're making it, it's epic, it's godly, it's biblical, and uh, there's more at stake than, than just us. There's, there's uh, Hashem's name in the world, um, and that should give us some, some comfort and some extra fuel to our tefillot. Okay, let's say the Tehillim together um, and uh, keep all our soldiers. Everybody needs a refuah shleimah. Everybody who is uh, getting closer to active battle should, should have a tremendous shmirah shleimah. And um, everybody who's captured should be returned home safe, safe and uh, safe and sound uh, very soon. Okay, everybody you can unmute, control D, or press the microphone, and we'll say the... Um, We'll say the ceiling together. There's just one name I just want to listen to quickly. So excuse me for one second. Okay. Um, okay, we're dabbling for Eitan ben Azimalka and Gili the Ari ben Azimalka. 
that they should be well protected. Okay, let's go. Shira my lord, to Khorad and Ale David, et call, Unoto. Shalom <laughs> <laughs> Adam Sama Komla Dona Mishkano at Lavir Yakov. Adam Sama Komla Dona Mishkano at Lavir Yakov. He Nishman Ua Befrata Mitsanua Bistayar. Nishman Ua Befrata Mitsanua Bistayar. Navoal Mishkanotav Nishtahave, La Domraglav. Navoal Mishkanotav Nishtahave, La Domraglav. Kuma Adonai, Nimnu Chatecha, Tavero, Nuzecha. Kuma Adonai, Nimnu Chatecha, Tavero, Tavero, Nuzecha. Kuanecha, Yubushu Tzedek, Vechasidecha, Yerneinu. Kuanecha, Yubushu Tzedek, Vechasidecha, Yerneinu. Bavur David Avdecha, Al Tashayif, Bnei Meshichecha. Bavur David Avdecha, Al Tashayif, Bnei Meshichecha. Nishpadonai le David, emet lo yashuv mimena mi privit necha ashit lechi selach. Nishpadonai le David, emet lo yashuv mimena mi privit necha ashit lechi selach. Im yishmeru vanecha briti veloti zo alam deim gam bnei amadei ad yashvu lechi selach. Im yishmeru vanecha briti veloti zo alam deim gam bnei amadei ad yashvu lechi selach. כי בחר אדוני בית ציון, איבה למושב לו. זאת מנוחתי עד היד פה אשב, כי הבאתי. זאת מנוחתי עד היד פה אשב, כי הבאתי. צידה ברך אברך, הגיוניה אספיע לכם. ‫-ברכה. <laughs> מי שבירך אבותינו אברהם יצחק ויעקב, הוא יברך את חיילי צבא ההגנה לישראל, ואנשי כוחות הביטחון העומדים על משמע ארצנו, והרי אלוהינו מגבול הלבנון, על מדבר מצרים, ומן הים הגדול ועד לבוא הערבה, ובכל מקום שהם, ויבשר ואוויר וים ייתן אדוני את אויבינו, הקמים עלינו הנגפים לפניהם. הקדוש ברוך הוא ישמור ויציל את חיילינו מכל צרה וצוקה, מכל נגע מחלה. ישלח ברכה והצלחה בכל מעט עשי ידיהם. נגבה שונאינו תחתיהם, מתאים בחצי ישועה וצועד פרטי הנצחון. ויקוים בהם הכתוב כי אדוני אלוהיכם, אני הולך עם אתכם ולהילחם אליכם, עם אויביכם להושיר אתכם, ונאמר אמן. אמן. נשבח על הנדרים. מי שברך אותנו רמי תפי יעקב, יוסף משה ואהרון דוד ושלמה, ויברך וישמור וינצור עינינו רעי צבא, כנאי שלו שבויה ואת כל אחינו נצרו מצרה ושבעה בו, שכל הקהל הקדוש הזה מתפלל בעבורם ולומד בעבורם. הקדוש ברוך הוא ימלך עליהם, ויוצאים מכל שבצמא, ואת חושבי מנצג מצוות ודמי יושי, יהיה מי שמרח את החיק משפט אחים, יהוד אדוני את חס לא בנפלותיו למנה אדם. וקוים מגרש שכתוב, ודאי אדוני ישוב ונאמר את ינברי, נאמר את שכנתו למה ראשי המסוס על משמחה, שיגו ונאס יגו ונאמר אנחה ונאמר אמן. אחינו, אחינו כל בית ישר נאמר את שכנתו למה ראשי המסוס על משמחה, שיגו ונאס יגו ונאמר אמן. אחינו כל בית ישר נאמר את שכנתו למה ראשי המסוס על משמחה, שיגו ונאס יגו ונאמר אמן. אחינו כל בית ישר נאמר את שכנתו למה ראשי Amen, amen. Okay, thank you all so much for joining and uh, have a good, strong day. Keep strong, keep believing, and uh, peace God will get through this and every day should get better and better. All right. Okay, bye.